All right, guys, this is Matt from Florida Gun Classifieds. I'm here coming to you from beautiful South Florida where we actually have the uh, FN57 MK2 pistol today that we're gonna demonstrate. The 5.7 pistol is one of my favorite firearms. You have a five inch barrel, weighs about one pound, fully loaded. Comes with three 20 round mags. And the ammo that you can shoot out of this 5.7, there's a variety of different types of ammunition. We have a select uh, a group of ammo that we picked today. We're gonna start off with our American Eagle 40 grain projectile. We also have some SS196, those are the red tips. You have, uh, which is a 40 grain projectile as well. Then you have our SS197 SR, these are the blue tips, also a 40 grain projectile from FN. We have SS192, it is a 28 grain hollow point projectile, which we also have here today. SS198 LF, lead three, that's the green tips. It's a 27 grain projectile, also hollow point. And uh, have some black tips here as well, SS190. What we're gonna do today with that black tip, that's an armor penetrating round. It has a steel core. We actually have some AR500 armor. This is the level three armor, uh, their hard body armor. Uh, we're gonna try to see if we can get that black tip to penetrate this particular armor as well. I also have a, say about a 15 pound ham over there. We're gonna see how each one of these projectiles impacts that ham, uh, what happens when it, uh, when it hits. Now these rounds, some of them are designed to actually, when it hits the target, it will tumble. So we're gonna see how that works today on that ham and possibly this uh, 20 or 25 pound turkey or so. So let's go ahead, we'll start the demonstration and see what happens. All right guys, for our first test, I have five rounds in this mag. The first shot's gonna be the American Eagle, 40 grain. Then we have the SS196 red tip, 40 grain. The 197 SR, the 40 grain blue tip. Then we have the SS192, and then the green tip, 198 LF, 27 grain. Let's see what happens. Oh! All right, guys, for our second test, we're going to do the same sequence of ammunition with our frozen turkey. And for a treat, we have that black tip, that armor piercing round. Let's go check it out. Clear. All right, guys, for our second test, we're going to do the same sequence of ammunition with our frozen turkey.
for a tree, we have that black tip, that armor piercing round. So check it out. Clear. Okay guys, for our last test, we have the same sequence of ammunition. The last four are gonna be our black tip, the armor penetrating rounds. Hey, <laughs> let me get behind you. Wait a second. <laughs> you pussies. All right guys, for our last, for our last test, we're gonna do the same sequence of ammunition. The last four rounds are gonna be the black tip, the armor penetrating rounds, against our AR-500 level three body armor. Let's see what happens. That looks like it deflected to me. That one captured. Black tip. Go check it out. Clear. It did. Okay, so what did we learn? The 5.7 against any kind of soft tissue, devastating. Uh, pretty much any one of these rounds, more specifically those green tips, the hollow points, uh, will devastate any kind of soft tissue. Against hard armor or even a frozen turkey, these rounds are too light, they don't do much. Let me show you what happened to this AR-500 body armor. As we can see on the front, you can see where the, where the rounds entered here. And back, smooth. This armor is designed actually to capture all the projectiles so it doesn't have any kind of fragments inside here. That's why they have this line ex exterior. So that's exactly what the armor did. It performed as designed. Even with the armor penetrating rounds on the 5.7, you have a smooth back, nothing went through. So would I want to be wearing this? Definitely. So guys, again, thank you for watching. This is Matt from Florida Gun Classifieds, bringing you some more interesting videos on different types of firearms. www.floridagunclassifieds.com. Check us out on YouTube, Florida Gun Classified, without the S. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks.